uh, beautiful people. Uh, my, how's it going? My name is uh, Ishmael Jimenez. I am a teacher uh, for the Philadelphia School District. We're going to be making a transition soon. Some folks are at the SRC. The SRC is the ungovernable board that controls the school district of Philadelphia for like the last 14 years and been sucking the life out of us. And some people are already down there performing in action. The SRC really is just like an unelected board. So ever since the SRC has been in control, you kind of seen like uh, manufactured obsolescence where they create the conditions to ask the question, well, what's the point of even needing a uh, neighborhood school? Since 2001, actually the school district's finances has gotten worse and also uh, the amount of school closures and teacher shortages really has been an ongoing issue. So I think just starting that larger conversation of how do we envision an elected school board in the 21st century where money and, and politics is just like a wash and changing the whole landscape. How in Philadelphia do we actually change and make come up with an alternative? Really what we want to see is people in the community much more in control of the decision making than uh, bureaucrats downtown. I worked at Germantown for four years and they closed. I moved around there. I, I planned to stay around there the whole life. I used to love driving home from work, seeing a kid who cut my class that day, yell out my window, you cut my class and catch him off guard. Like, I love that. For me, it was like, even if you intend to be involved, even if you're trying to be consistent, to offer students your the continuity and in, uh, instruction and just like relationships, that's necessary within a school building, it's like you can't. Now community schools and community control, um, in my view, looks like self-determination. It looks like uh, people making determinations of what should be the focus of a specific school within an area or in the neighborhood. And it also influences uh, how the money or the resources are being utilized within that community. And if leveraged purposely, I think they can play a vital role in helping communities, number one, rebuild itself, and number two, define themselves. So really in class, I try to encourage dialogue, but also try to encourage them to have dialogue with their cousins, their parents, and you know, I always know a student's learning when they come to class the next day and be like, I saw this on the TV the other day and I said that to my mom and this is what my mom said. And it's like, they might be going on forever, but right then I know they're, they're connecting the pieces. There are folks that recognize that we're not just like, uh, you know, coming here for a job, that we're actually here for the long-term education of our students and the betterment of this community as a whole.